Hey, what is up guys? Klausnex here, hitting you up with another training vlog. I'm a couple weeks out from my competition, and uh, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling um, just aching, like my body is sore, like I've been, I've been going hard, like strength training since uh, about November, I think, and I, I kind of have been going steady since. Now I have been deloading every fourth week, but I just still feel like it's, it's really uh, adding up right now. This past week has been really bad for training. I was uh, away for the weekend, and then, uh, you know, when I got back, I just had no steam to work out, but still, I tried to work out. And then, uh, you know, I actually had to miss a workout, which sucks, hasn't happened in a long time, but I feel like I lost my momentum, even, like, just missing one out of four workouts in a week. So I went to go do my strongman workout yesterday, and, uh, I, man, it was rough. The day before was a Tuesday. Football just started up again. And I don't know if it was from football or if it's just an, an accumulation of things or something weird happened over the weekend on my back. But, like, I got this DOMS in, like, the midsection of my back. So kind of where it goes from lumbar to thoracic where the, where the spine curves. So it's the part of your back that is responsible for you extending, right, lifting upright. And that whole section, all my extensors, you know, mid-spine, they're just killing me. But it doesn't feel like they're hurt. It just feels like... They're just aching, you know? It's just this constant. And if you've ever hurt your back, you know that there's really no comfortable position once you've hurt it because, man, it's the muscles in your erectors are responsible for holding you upright. So they're almost constantly in use unless you're lying flat on your back. So really, it's been a rough couple days since, well, since Wednesday. So it's been two days with this now. I had to call in to work yesterday because it was so bad. I could barely get out of bed. I had to, um, well, I don't know if I missed the workout, but I'm postponing it until tomorrow. And uh, it's been really been a bad week for workouts. I was actually going to attempt a five-plate deadlift today, so that's out of the picture. I was pushing it forward to tomorrow, but I don't even think that's realistic for me to do tomorrow. So maybe next week, um, that's probably going to be the best time for me to go for a deadlift PR before my comp, because once my comp is done, the intensity in which I'm exercising is going to be going down because I'm going to be shifting to football mode and it's been quite a bit of wear and tear on my body, especially since this is my first, you know, full season of strength training. I feel like I'm definitely starting to feel the aches or this might just be really building up because I have this back thing and it just feels like the whole, my whole world is crashing down on me. I notice when I lose the ability to work out, I start to feel very ungrounded. So... Anyways, to make this more competition specific, my training has been kind of the same as it was for the first one, but um, I don't know, the hype that I had going into the first one was a lot higher than me going into this one because I know this one's going to be really hard, and uh, it's hard to be psyched and hyped when you know that you're not going to be strong enough to do some of the things, so I'm just trying to get as much strength as I can, but like, even a month out, you know, there's, there, you're limited as to how strong you can get. And, you know, I'm even like two weeks out. I'm not really going to get much stronger. So I'm going to do my best to keep putting in the work and go to the comp. The uh, Just to give you put into perspective how my body has changed, you can see on my YouTube channel, there's a video of me pulling a three-ton truck with a harness on. I'm pulling it with a rope behind me. I'm hauling ass, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm pulling that thing. And if, it felt good. It looked good. I did the same with a half ton, maybe between a half and a one ton truck yesterday. That's like two tons less of a truck, and I could barely do it. Granted, it was uphill, so I'm giving myself that. But um, I was, you know, I was tearing the calluses off my fingers. I felt like I had no strength, and uh, I haven't been able to lift Atlas zones. Well, I haven't attempted to do it in my programming because I always save it for the last because you get the tacky on the fingers and you can't touch anything else. So for the past three weeks, I've crossed out Atlas Stones, Atlas Stones, Atlas Stones. I just haven't been doing, haven't been doing them. So we'll see how I do in the comp when it comes to doing Field Stones. Uh, not feeling great about that, but the uh, my next round of my workout is Wednesday. I'm definitely going to do Stones. I'll put them on the top of my list if I have to so I don't miss anything. And uh, I was too tired to do Farmer's Walks last week. For the first time since like I started strongman training, which is like May, uh, I didn't do farmer's walks. So, a little bit crazy. Um, 
when you know you're you are stronger, but you're just not performing where you should be. So it kind of messes with your head, and that's kind of where I'm at now. Right now, I feel very doom and gloom, but this is just how it feels when your body is aching and sore, right? So I'm not writing myself off just yet. You know, I might be back at it again on Monday, feeling you know right as rain, ready to go, lift some heavy stuff. But um, just keep you updated. Training for competitions and stuff like that is not all uh, glam and glitter and PRs and just being a beast every single day in the gym. Some workouts just suck. Some workouts are grinders. Some workouts you get bruised up. And uh, I just wanted to make this video just to document the process and uh, just reflect a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. I hope it was somewhat informative and uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just documenting the process. I can look back on it and reflect. Thank you for watching. Boss X out.